guys, today's video is a hot or not on the Arena Pro Power Fins. My coach had my whole group get these for the new season because he really wants us to work on building our legs, which he calls our foundation. So we've been doing so many different kick sets and he really wanted us to get these specific fins because they apparently make your workout harder which I didn't quite understand at first. I was like, how can fins make your workout harder? I'm really into any kind of gear that makes your workout harder right now, like my Speedo Snorkel review. That one makes breathing harder because it is a thinner snorkel. And then these make your workout harder because they do have a lot smaller of a fin area. So the idea of these, I was so excited about. I went and read all about them, and when I read that part, I was like, okay. I'm really excited to try these. These are about $50 on Swimella.com and Arena does have another line of fins that are called Power Fin, but they're not the pros. So if you're interested in these by the end of the video, these are the pros and make sure you get those exactly, not just the Power Fins because those are a little bit different. But I'll have a link to these in the description box below. These come in two other colors, a really bright lime green and a super bright pink. When I went to buy these, they were sold out of the pink, and I didn't really want to get the green, so I got the black, because I had an idea to like decorate them with a silver marker. As you guys can tell, I rubbed some off down here, um, but I haven't really gotten around to that yet. To actually go fast with these fins, you have to kick a lot harder than you would think, which is why it makes your workout so much harder. Since the fin area is so small, when you don't kick, it actually feels like little weights on your feet when you're swimming and it'll actually make you go slower, which I experienced during a very hard set. I was dying, I stopped kicking, and then I wasn't making the super hard send off and I was like, crap, and I was like, started kicking super hard and <laughs> then I finally went faster again, but my legs were dying. Um, so these really, really make your workout harder. <laughs> these can be used for butterfly, backstroke, and freestyle. With these fins, make sure you do not do breaststroke kick. When we do IM sets with these on, we just get the choice of either flutter kick or dolphin kick. With breaststroke arms during the IM, you want to make sure that you get fins that are specifically meant for breaststroke. There's only a couple pairs of those on the market because fins, just the way they're designed, if you use fins that aren't, meant for breaststroke, you can actually blow out your knees. So make sure that with these you do not do breaststroke kick. Don't do that ever. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Apparently they're specially curved, so I'm not really sure, but when you kick around it doesn't put pressure on the insides of your knees or something. I don't really know. I'll have to do some research. Maybe I'll get a pair and try them out. A lot of my friends have been complaining about these, giving them blisters, and every other fin that I've tried gives me blisters too, so I was like, oh yeah. I see that you're, why you're getting blisters. We wore them for a while and I was like, I'm have, I don't have any blisters yet. And also, all my friends keep saying how they hurt their feet so much and mine are so comfortable. I have never worn fins as comfortable as these. I bring this up because these fins might not work for everyone. I mean, everyone has different sized feet, different shaped feet, some are wider or thinner. I have pretty thin feet, so I feel like that might be why these are so comfortable for me. Um, or maybe my friends got sizes too small for them. I wear a size 8 to 8.5 shoe size, so I got the size 6.5 to 7.5, and, and these are men's sizing, so that's why I went down so many sizes, but these fit perfectly. Now, I wouldn't recommend these to beginner swimmers who are working more on technique, since these are really a training aid more than to help you swim. I would recommend getting bigger fins if you're just early beginning working on technique. These can also be used for drills, but they do make it harder, so these are probably better for a more advanced swimmer. So are these hot or not? These are definitely a hot product. I would recommend these to all advanced swimmers, and if you're a beginner and you want a pair of fins, I will leave a link to a pair that my dad recommends to his private lesson kids that are really great for beginners because he does teach a lot of lessons to more beginner swimmers, so I'll leave a link to the fins that he has them by down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to see more videos. Bye! I think I waved with my opposite hand that time. That was weird. I usually wave with this hand, but this hand. Oh. Random fact number 51. I'm ambidextrous. Car. Items. You want to shut my window? Why does everyone decide to drive around right now? What are you doing? Are you taking a picture of me? All I see is her positioning her phone like this. Definitely hot fit.
Why do I always say, um, I say like, oh, this is a hot towel, this is a hot suit, this is a hot snorkel, and it always sounds weird and I do it in every video. It sounds like I do it on purpose, but I really don't. It's a hot item. Hot item. These are definitely hot, um, <laughs> I was like, ha <laughs> ha Thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> That's a really loud car. <laughs> Big thumbs up if you found it helpful. What happened there?